Somebody lift up your hands and give God some glory. Ask him tonight to speak to you. Tell him to touch you. Tell him to show you what he wants you to do tonight. Um, something awesome is going to happen tonight. But if I were you, I'd tell God, if you're, if you're doing something in this season, don't do it without me. Just open up your mouth and speak to him tonight. Tell him, tell him, talk to him. Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. Until you touch me, until you bless me, I would not leave you until you bless me, until you heal me, until you show me, until this blood ceases. I would not leave you. I would not let you go. God, touch me. God, speak to me. God, talk to me. Touch me with your hands. I need you in my life more than ever before. I need you. I need you. I need you. I'm desperate for your reign. I'm desperate for you. Tonight, Lord, you must speak to me. Tonight is not about anybody. It's about me. Tonight, this event was put together because of me. Lord, until you talk to me, until you change my name from Jacob the supplanter to Israel, I would not leave you. I am not walking away until people know that indeed I have encountered the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I will not leave the same. I am holding on to you. I am gripping on to you until you heal me of this sickness. I would not leave you. Teach me the way to please you. Teach me what to sing. Let me know how to touch your heart. Let me know what pleases you, oh God. I'm tired of doing things my own way. I'm tired of having things my own way. Lord, speak to me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift up your two hands. We love you, Jesus. Man of God, it's, it's a true honor to meet you tonight. Um, you're a great man of God. I love you so much, yourself and your dear wife. And I just couldn't wait to start this evening, this evening of true intense worship between divinity and humanity. Um, I did not start as a teacher. I started as a, a singer. Then I moved to a worship leader. And then eventually God started upgrading me 
um, because he realized that I was fulfilling my calling. And so he started adding some stuff to me. So I did not just start like this, no. Um, I, 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 I'm still serving and I'm, I, I love serving my apostles. It's very important. Those of you in ministries, those of you up and coming, those of you in ministries, it's, it's very important to still serve regardless of where God catapults you or where God takes you. Um, most of the time, we, when God gives us a little greener pasture, we feel that we're, we're there, we're big. So we forget the men of God that laid hands on us. We forget the men of God that would pray and believe God that God would take us somewhere one day. Um, but I, I'm here to tell you and advise you that no, 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 no. In fact, the higher you go, the mellow you become. Um, it's very important. So um, you should see me seven. Um, Dr. Lawrence Tete, Bishop A.O. Bernard. Ah, I'm like a little boy before them. And, and all I keep saying is, Daddy, lay hands and bless me. Keep blessing me. So um, even though my, my apostles are not here, um, I want to salute them and my, my biological father. Um, he is the man of my life. He is my spiritual head. Um, he is the voice of authority in my life. Um, whenever I'm down, just call my dad for me and that's it. I'm cool. I love him so much. Because sometimes the, the gift can be inside of you. The, the, the gift can be inside of you. But you need the right person to channel it right. Um, I believe there are better people who can sing more than me. But you can't worship more than me. I wouldn't let you die. Nah. But um, my father realized the giftings I had. And then he invested inside of me. I remember when I was a child, he would buy me every musical instrument I needed. He was a drummer in church, so I would stand by him. So I started as a drummer. Oh, I can play the drums. Man, I can play the drums. But I now sit up now and I, I look back. And I'm like, whoa. That's what he did. He planted so much worship and music inside of me. Man of God, you should hear my father exalting God. Oh, Jesus. Have you heard my new song, Adonai? Oh, you heard it? You know the stuff I was singing, right? It was dad that taught me. Everything I said, that's how dad prays. Everything I said when I was speaking tree, it was dad's prayer. So that's, that's training a child the way you want them to become. It was, every single thing I said was my father's prayer every single morning. Man of God, literally, we, we know he, he, my father can pray. Jesus Ah, you, you, when you're ill, just know that he's praying. Every single thing. I can, I, we can say, we can give you one hour of that prayer. But we used to tease him when we were young. We'll say, there we go, that's that there. But now I'm like, I call him and say, what did you say the other time? I need it now. So children, everything your father is doing. Oh, let me start. Fathers, teach them the right thing. That's how I'd start. And then children, make sure that everything that he's doing in church, not just your biological father, but your spiritual father, because one day, one day you would, you would definitely, definitely need it. Um, so man of God, thank you very much for inviting us. God has been so good to Sonny Bible. I don't deserve to be here. I, I, I don't. But I think I'm like the David that has found his own heart. A man after his own heart. And I speak with all humility as I stand here. I am so humbled. Um, but God has been good. You know, and for me, it, all glory goes to God. And to my biological father. Because he's done the hard work. So I, I make sure I don't give the glory to any man. I'm going to show you something in the Bible that you have not seen. Worship is the food God eats. God breathes worship. The Bible says he neither sleeps nor slumber. It's very true. But God rests. And he needs worship to rest. The only reason.
reason why you were created, let me tell you, the only reason why you were created was to praise and worship him. And so this is it. The more you praise him, the more he upgrades you. The more you worship him, the more he finds you relevant with what he's doing. But when you don't worship him or when you don't use what he's given to you or when you don't fulfill your assignment, he cuts you off. So let me give you a physical example. Take the Winans family. We have Daddy Winans, Mommy Winans, CC Winans, BB Winans, all the Winans. Why? Because they've taken Christ and they're spreading the gospel. So God keeps upgrading their generation. Worship makes you grow. You cannot kill a worshiper. Let me tell you. You can't. Lucifer rebelled, right? He rebelled. Causes one third of the angels. Causes chaos in heaven. Causes one third to rebel. How did he convince them? How? Because he lived with God. He was the only one they called the bright morning star. The, T-H-E, the bright morning star. They referenced him as, that's him going, that's him going with the king of kings. So he walked on the stones of fire. He lived on the holy mountains with God. Lucifer was God's personal specimen. Everything within him was instruments. So let me say, anytime he needed to give worship, a sports stadium has 45,000 people in there. That's Lucifer's finger of tenor singers. That's just one finger of a whole sports stadium. That's what Lucifer used to give God. So why did God give him the earth? He should have killed him. But he gave him the earth to go and rule. Because you cannot kill a worshiper. And then the Bible says, for God so loved the world. And then he sacrificed his own son to go into the world to die. A world that you've given to Lucifer already. Because Lucifer told Jesus that this earth has been given to me. If you can only bow down and worship me, what I used to do, if you can only do it to, I'll give it to you. That's how powerful worship is. Worship causes God to do certain things he doesn't want to do, but he does it because you've worshipped him. Ah, you don't understand what I'm talking about. Worship causes God to, even if it's not your time, maybe he would have done it in five years, you can worship your way through expressly. Oh, listen, I know what I'm talking about. Man of God, worship. Ah. Let everybody do praise, but me, I say I'll do worship. I want worship. Worship causes God to change his mind. Ah. Why would David kill and still go on his knees and God say, I changed my mind, I changed my mind. I'm going to show you something. I hope you have time because I came for you. Listen. Ah, uh, worship makes good eyes. There are things that I told God after I worship you, this is what I want. Oh, yeah. You need, he's a businessman. Listen, I know what I'm talking about. He, he is a businessman, you see. So before you do, you've got to tell him, listen, there's this food you want, I can give you, and you know I can give you. And guess what? Don't think that... Um, if you don't do it, someone else will do it. No, he placed it in you. It's in you. That is why worship leaders, you cannot let God down. Don't think, oh, if, if Cecilia doesn't do it, John can do it. No! So don't, don't get it twisted. It's inside of you. He's, oh, let me give you an example. Um, sir, please, please come stand. He's a Mercedes Benz. I am a Mercedes Benz. Pastor is the manufacturer. Okay. Now, he's got the glasses on, so Pastor decides to give him a DVD player. Right? But I don't have a DVD player. But we're both Mercedes Benz. But he's got an extra feature. Are you with me? Oh, he could have cruise control. But I don't have. He could have leather seats. I would have cushion. But anyone who sees it outside would say, that's a Mercedes Benz. But... The owner knows what he enjoys inside. That's how God creates worship leaders. 
So when God, that is why he could not change his mind on Lucifer and he decided not to create something like that again. So what he's done is, he, he, okay, you take the horn. That's why we have musicians there. You take the voice, okay? You t- so that when one lets him down, at least he can rely on one. But don't be the one to let him down. He started, he said, I needed a worshiper. Okay, why don't I create everything I want? Sir, please stand up. Why don't I create, you're handsome, I like you, sweet. Why don't I create everything I want in him? So, Abel, just play strings for me. Give me immortal in this sin. For God only wise. Enlighten. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. That was Lucifer's arm. All right. Now, Mr. Drama, play something. That's Lucifer's legs. Bass guitarist, take your guitar. So this is just his arm and his leg. The bass is not even in there. It's not even in there. God was just playing. He said, let me put horns here. Let me put strings here. Um, I, I want to hear the bass. Uh-huh. I've got time to wait. Don't worry. I've got time. See, that, that's his fingers. Just That's his fingers. When he does that, God gets vulnerable. Yeah. Who is that? That's my boy. That's the bass player. Now, 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 he hasn't moved the other legs. But can we all say most blessed together? Go. Most blessed, most alone. That's Lucifer walking. The ancient of the almighty, oh, victorious. That's him working. Thy great, great name be praised. Most blessed, most, that's him walking. Most glorious, the ancient of days. That's him walking. Almighty, victorious, thy great name. That's Lucifer walking. Lift your hands. No, no, no. That's how serious worship is. I, I want to show you. <laughs> what we were just feeling here is Lucifer did. And it was made of gold. The Bible says every precious ointment was in him. So anytime he did this, that was gold you'd see. You would see rubies. Ladies, give me some of the precious stones. Emerald. What? Diamond. Sapphire. Topaz. Hey, ru- hey. hey. He was glittering. Oh. That is why worshippers glitter. That, that guy was powerful. Was powerful. But guess what? When he was dethroned, God did not take it back. He left it. Oh, they look beautiful. He didn't take it back. That's why they have excellence. The unbelievers do stuff. You watch, you're like, wow. I watch, I'm like, whoa. Yo, man, you're on point. Unbelievers spend time and money for excellence. And the Christians do things anyhow. So when you do things anyhow, Lucifer goes to God and tell him, you still need me. I still got the gold here. Because he wants to come back. But God has sworn by himself not to ever take him back. But he's raised children like you that would give him worship. Eternally worship forever. That would come out of your own mind and you feel like giving him. That's why he gave you conscience. So whenever you feel like worshiping, spontaneously, you do it. Anyhow, any place, anywhere, you just give it to him. 
Koto jeni na begi mi dinai. Ah, oko kroko ye iwa ya. Oko kroko ye maboso. Oyo mani na da. We get there. Don't worry. Don't worry. Es ano sepeno. Ane hu irano. Na bibi yano. Ah, me bani mi. Me bani mi. Me bani mi. I didn't cry no shushe. I see you peska o. Mo peska mane. Eno pe no pe. Mo fa mano. Mo fa mano. Ah. Oh, I just spoke Latin there. Sometimes it's good for you to sing songs in your own dialect, you know. Shit. Some of you are not feeling the closure with God because you're not singing in your dialect. You're not singing in your dialect. Yes, the church is international, so the worship leader learn every song. If it's, I am a friend of God, learn it. And then learn the, the African stuff. Learn every stuff. So you don't just sing the European and leave the African. You don't do African and leave the European. You do every single thing. Like, if, if I'm in trouble and, 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 and I just want God to, to step into my trouble, um, are you guys hearing me? I don't know what to say because I've run out of words. But there's something I can say. By the time I'm done, trouble sorted out. Man of God, I don't deserve to be where I am now. But I know it's my worship. Last year I was in Ghana. Have you got time? Some person must tell me from bag or cool. Some would tell me bag now, I mean, family, I call. All right, you promise me? But one thing I can promise you is this. Some of you will have to carry you away. So just relax. Man of God, in Ghana, I did Ghana worship with Sonny Badu last year, and God surprised me. The whole of the National Theater was packed. Kirk Franklin could not fill the place. So people said, people are not going to come. Oh, Jesus. It was sold out. I met some people, I think, a month later in Ghana. They said, we could not go. We had to stand outside and soak in worship. 
So all over the corridors at the National Theater, people were lying down, worshiping Jehovah Adonai. Man of God, when I got down from the tarmac, policemen with guns were escorting me. I left Ghana as a student, but now I came back with protocol front and back. Because I am a carrier of his blessing. Because I am a worshiper. And ah, God makes you a king when you're a worshiper. David was worshiping in the wilderness. David was the rejected. Listen, let me tell you something. David's mother was a prostitute. That's why he said, in sin did my mother conceive me. Listen, what Jesse, David's father, did is what Judah did to his daughter-in-law. But this time, David's mother got pregnant. Now, Jesse was so embarrassed that he left him in the wilderness. He wanted nature to consume him. When you were a shepherd in the, in the olden days, in those days, you, you, when, when the sheep came back or when you are not coming back, it's either you've been consumed by a lion or a bear. That is why when Jacob's sons came to him and said, Joseph has been consumed by a lion and a bear, his father started crying because he knows that the wilderness is a wilderness indeed. So Jesse left David in the wilderness so the lions and bears could consume him. That is why he told Saul that when I was there and the lions and bears came, uh, God gave me power and I ripped their mouth. So they came. That was what Jesse wanted to happen to him. So they came, but they caught him at the wrong time. He was busy feeding the master with food that he cannot eat for himself. And how dare you, creator of Jehovah, interrupt God's feeding. Some of you stop concentrating on your problems and be busy feeding God with the food he cannot feed himself. And let God deal with the rest. So man of God, what people say about me, I don't care. I tell them I'll meet you at the altar. The place of worship. Ha! God had to show me. He said, Sonny, stop listening to people. Even Jesus, they spoke about it. How much more? You? Just give me what I want. Oh, in Ghana, man of God, it was my birthday. Before God, a man, he tapped me and said, Thank you, Sonny. I said, No, thank you. He said, No, thank you. For 30 minutes, I was in my hotel crying like a baby. I said, I don't deserve this. He said, yes, you deserve it. I left you all alone. I tested you. You were homeless in London and still lifted up worship to me. People spoke about you. You were jobless. You still worship me. They did everything they could do. Sometimes you'd be leading worship and you are hungry for two days and you're still standing on your feet, lifting up my name. This is my reward for you. I will still be homeless. Oh, I remember the sign. I had a, I, 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 I could not afford a car. So one church gave me a car worth 50 pounds, $100. So you can imagine. Man of God, the, wind, the windscreen was not working. The wiper. So when it's raining, I, I, I just want to worship. But all I used to beg God for is God, I don't need money. I need two things. Someone to give me 20 pounds. So I can buy credit, I can buy food. That's all I want. God, I don't mind sleeping in my car. I just want to worship, but please touch someone's heart. I want to buy chips and chicken and eat. And credit, so that if an auntie is cooking, I just say, auntie, I want to visit you. At least when I go there and they're cooking, they won't forget me. Oh, I've been through stuff. Mm, how good do I But I had a friend. Anytime I was sleeping in the car, it felt like I was sleeping on, on a, a king star, five star bed. People thought I was struggling. Oh, but I didn't let them see I was struggling. So Sunday, ah, there is one suit I wore for two years. Man of God, share to now, Mrs. Amba, shoot to them. Hi. Hmm. Man of God, I will carry instruments, put it in the van, lead worship, dismantle instrument keep it in the van, sleep in the van because it could get stolen. I'm outside the house. I'm just waiting. Just waiting. But in that place, I always felt him with me. He always provided the 20 pounds for me. The credit and chips and chips. Sometimes, mommy, it'll be raining. Now, step, drive five minutes. Step out. 
do man-made wiper. Do it myself. Wipe it myself because it's not working. Sitting and drive a bit. Wipe it myself. I just want to go and lead people into worship. Sometimes I'll stand on my feet for six hours non-stop leading worship. Six hours non-stop, all night. In fact, I have an amicor that. And two honey and Yeah, but poor and I'm here. I'm here. Six hours. I did not know that he was training me. Now, man of God, I fly business class. Ah, my friend. Me who never forget it. In coming in my chin chum. Oh yeah, he kept me young. Ah, worshippers, you never grow. Shit. Oh yeah. I haven't even started. Do you have time? Sometimes it's good to have something fresh and new. This is what God wants us to do. Come, be fed, and be, be liberated. Knowledge is power.